Wow, BlizzCon. Heroes of the <laughs> Heroes of the Storm is an homage to all of the amazing games that our players have created inside our editors for many, many years. We have a long history at Blizzard of shipping our tools, our technology, and our art to our players so you can become the developer. You can make amazing games of your own. And we have been blown away by the games you have made. Our communities have helped to create the tower defense genre, a whole genre of games that's gone on to take on the world. Our community helped create this hero brawler genre that has gone on to just conquer the whole of the, all of gaming. So when we had a chance to make one of these games our own, we really couldn't resist. Back in 2010, we had an assignment to make one map for BlizzCon to show you how our tools worked, how good they could be, the amazing kinds of games you could create inside StarCraft II. So we made this map, this map that would become one day Heroes of the Storm, and we brought it to BlizzCon, and we showed it to you guys, and you guys stood in line for hours to play this game. And you gave us amazing feedback. You told us the game was awesome, and you told us really great ways how we could make the game better. So we, we got pretty geeked up about that. We went back to the office, and we worked on the game for another year, and we brought the game back in 2011 again. And we showed it, and again, you stood in line for hours to play it. And you told us, this game is awesome. You've got to do more with this. And we took the game back to the studio, and everybody in the studio said, this is really cool. You guys got to do more with this game. And so here we are now, in 2013, with Heroes of the Storm. And that's why this game has changed its name a couple of times over the years. Because it was, at one point, just a map. And that's all it needed to be. It had to have a name suitable for that. And as we've taken it from BlizzCon to BlizzCon to BlizzCon, our expectations for the game have grown, your expectations for the game have grown, and now we're finally here today. And now, I'd like to show you a video of how Heroes of the Storm plays in its alpha version today. combat. Of, Heroes of the Storm is Blizz, Blizzard the game. It is a combination of all of our heroes, all of our villains, brought together in a single battle to, to the death. You're going to be able to play as Arthas, as Kerrigan, as Diablo, 
as all of the heroes and villains you've come to know over the last many, many years. Many of these heroes are 10, 15 years old. They've got their own comic books. They've got their own novels. They've got their own cinematics. They've got their own games with their epic storylines all built in. But it's not just enough for us to just pay homage to the game and the games that our players have created. We've got to do something more. We've got to provide you with new challenges. We've got to challenge this genre and show you what it can become. So one of the ways we're going to do this is with our battlegrounds. And these are not just maps. These are all worlds with their own characters and their own ways to play. So we're going to take you. We're going to take you to Black Hearts Bay. And on Black Hearts Bay, you're going to collect cursed treasure. And you're going to deliver it to an evil pirate lord. And when you give him enough treasure, he's going to join you, however briefly, and turn the cannons of his ghostly pirate ship on your enemies. You're going to go deep underground on a whole other battleground to the haunted mines. And you're going to go and collect the skulls of fallen warriors. And you're going to take those skulls back to the surface. And you're going to combine them with dark necromatic magic and create a grave golem, this massive creature. It's going to charge across the battlefield, destroying enemy castles and fortifications. On a whole other battleground, we're going to take you to the Dragonshire. And there, you will discover the obelisk of the sun and the obelisk of the moon. And when you capture these, you'll open up the ancient dragon altar. And then you can choose one hero from your team, your chosen champion, and you can send him to the dragon altar where he'll be transformed into the dragon knight, an unstoppable demigod that will slay any hero foolish enough to stand in his way. All of this is playable today at BlizzCon. We have hundreds of machines for you to play this game. We've got ways for you to give us feedback. There's hundreds of developers scattered throughout this hall who would love to hear from you how we can make this game better. We have an overview panel today. On this stage at 445, we have a deep dive tomorrow at 1.30 in Hall A, followed by a live shoutcasted match where the game developers are going to battle to the death in Heroes of the Storm for your amusement. Finally, the beta signups for Heroes of the Storm are going live today. So you can sign up for our beta, you can play the game, give us your feedback, and you'll be able to help create Blizzard's next big game. Now, before I go, I want to say that this, this game wouldn't be here without BlizzCon. When we came to BlizzCon, we were inspired by the art hanging on the walls, by the banners that shows all of these characters together, and we thought, wow, those are all really cool games. What if they were one game? How cool would that be? And we were inspired by you guys. You guys gave us the encouragement. You gave us the feedback. You gave us the will to go on over the many years where this is just one map until now it's its own original game. So I'd like to say from everybody at Blizzard, Thank you, BlizzCon. Thank you for helping to create Heroes of the Storm. Oh. Sorry, I got to forgot. I'd like to introduce the Chief Creative Officer of Blizzard Entertainment, Rob Pardo. What up, BlizzCon? <laughs> Dear Lord, there are a lot of people here. <laughs> I, I think way off in the distance, it actually starts to fog out like a video game. 